Alright, <clears throat> somebody asked me to do a, a tutorial for how to use the new Echovox 3.0. Danny's got a really good one out there, but I figured, what the heck, what's one more? Mine's not going to be as good as his, but hey, this is my attempt at it, so we'll, we'll see how it goes here. Alright, first you, um, you want to have it set up with an external recorder, yay, if you can. This helps you get a really good recording, not just the one on your phone. An external speaker. I use this 808 that I got at uh, Walmart for about 20 30 bucks. And you see it's attached with a wire to the phone. Okay. Um, let's see. Fire up the app. Okay. The first thing it's going to do is ask you for a session name. See, session name. Doesn't matter what you put here, it defaults to whatever the last one you had was. Okay. I put demo in for this one. Okay. And this is what it looks like. All right, you have got three drawers in this one. Okay, this is your left drawer, your right drawer, and your bottom drawer. Okay, and you've got your menu button here. This shows you all the various banks that you can switch to. Alright, and then this is mode. It defaults to normal mode. Uh, it can also do burst mode, which is something different. Okay, we'll talk about that at a different time. But right now we're just doing normal mode. <clears throat> okay, the first thing I would do is this um, right drawer. Uh, I usually pick auto blend and shuffle. Auto blend blends all of the different channels together and shuffle kind of randomizes that by bopping around uh, in any no particular order. This slider here does your shuffle speed. I like to move it to the quicker end of the of the slide scale. Not all the way, about three quarters. That's all you need to do for this one now. <clears throat> then I go and do the reverb menu. Um, it has a bunch of different um, dials on here. Nobody really understands all this except audio engineers, <laughs> which I'm not. Um, all I know is that you can play around with these and find out what works for you. Um, I have a bunch of ones that I've pre I've gotten um, from bit different people. These are preset files. Um, they're called the extension is EVRP and you can basically set change these in a text editor and then just save them with a name and give them the extension EVRP and put them in the the uh, reverb presets folder in your Echovox folder on your phone um, and you, that way it's easy to change them without having to deal with all these dials this is the volume um, down at the bottom here the slider I usually leave it in the middle somewhere or just below middle and then you hit your start reverb button and that turns that on and the last thing you do is your speed controls in the, on the left drawer, okay? They have all the channel speeds here, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. And you can turn them on or off. If you don't want to hear from a particular channel, just hit the off one, okay? I usually leave them on. Um, I slide the speed controls usually down to the slower end of the, of the scale. I don't like it really fast. It's harder for me to hear it when it's super fast. And I kind of zigzag them. So it's left, right, left, right, left, right. That's that's my personal preference. Okay. And when you got them the way you want them, you can um, <clears throat> go down here and decide if you want to record your session on your phone. This uh, little button here back and forth, this is on, off. Okay. If you select on, it will record your session on your phone, and you can use the playback options that are over here on, on this menu here. If you don't record on your phone, you can't use those. Okay, so if you want to record, make sure it says on. Okay, if you don't want to record it on your phone, off. I use it off because I've got this external recorder I use, and I get the responses really good on that. This is your mic gain, this little dial thingy. Um, if you have it low, like I do, your record volume on your phone is going to be low, so it will be harder for you to hear the responses. So if you want to hear the responses on your phone recording, turn this up a lot further than I've got it here. This 10 section number over here is the higher end. 
Um, you may have to adjust this uh, up or down depending on how much squealing you get from your mic, uh, from your speaker here. Okay, because the closer it is to the mic, the louder your feedback is going to be. So get your mic, uh, your, your speaker as far away from your mic as you can on your phone. All right. Um, and then this slider here is your your echo delays. Okay, I it defaults to zero, which is where I like it, but you can move this up uh, anywhere you want. Most people like somewhere between zero and ten, but I like zero because I don't like a whole lot of echo. And then this is your start button. Starts the echo. Okay, if you don't have if you don't have that button on, you're not going to hear the echo. 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 Hear it? Yeah. That's it for that. Yeah. Um, uh, lastly, lastly, I pick I my pick bank. My I use I either, either B, B or D. Or D. D is the Hindi bank. bank. And that's yeah, the new that's one the for Android. Android. And then the last thing you do is hit this big start button here. That starts it all. Let's get on with the show. Hello. <laughs> Is anybody here? <laughs> Can you say hello? hello? <laughs> All right, and when you're done with your session, you just hit stop and then menu, close app. And that's all there is to it. Hope this helps. <laughs>